All right, how you doing again? My name is Master Miguel Lopez. On the other videos that we've been talking about, we've been talking about center line shift and going through a man center. We also have another concept called twists and turning the drum. That's what my master calls it, but it's rotating the shoulders, turning the torso, okay? If you look at the Chinese drum, when you twist it, it's got the string with the two little beads at the end. It's a little uh, Chinese toy. When you turn it, it goes do 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 The straighter the drum is, and the more I twist, even I turn it sideways, because it's on a straight stick, I can generate a ton of power. If I took straws and put them onto the string, uh, on the outside of the string, so it's a little stiff, if I turn, the, the beads won't hit the drum as hard because it's stiff. It needs to stay loose when you turn. Nice, loose, and twist, okay? This concept of twist is one of the ways that we generate power in Sansu. Man throws a punch and I go to block him and I just use my arm, no twist. I'm not generating the same amount of power as he turns and I twist my torso, okay? Plus, when I twist my torso, look how close he is, okay? If I throw this punch and I block him here, my shoulder is so far away from him, now I gotta lean into him to hit him or take a step to hit him, okay? But if he's throwing and I twist, I am right here now and I generate a ton of power and actually twist my shoulder. So now when I twist back, I generate that same amount of power coming back. And what we call by twisting is just like a bow and arrow, I pull a bow. So when he throws a punch, here's the block, I pull the bow and I twist the block, to hit, to strike, but it's still that twist that generates energy, okay? If you look at Tiger Woods, you look at all these guys, when they golf, they just don't come up to the golf club and go, <laughs> they actually take it, they shift their weight, they twist, they line up, and then they twist through and snap their body the same time as they hit that, that golf ball, okay? Because there's twist, it's like a rubber band. You twist to the end, you let it snap back. You generate extra power. Baseball players don't get up there and just go like this. When they bring that bat back, they shift their weight, they shift their weight to this leg. When the ball comes in, they start to shift their weight forward. They turn their whole body, whole torso, belly, but turns with their hands. They hit and swing through and fall on to the plate, okay? Because they twist first to release. Baseball player, when he throws the ball, same thing. Picks up the ball, he doesn't pick up the ball and go, he twists his body, he closes his body to his line of sight. He turns, he puts his weight on the side, he shifts, he pulls, turns, and throws the ball. Okay? Twist. So if I'm going to throw a punch, why would I give up all that twist? Okay? So if he's throwing, I'm just doing this, and I never twist, what am I hitting with? Nothing but my arms, because I didn't give a twist. Okay? If he throws and I twist, two things happen. If they can throw a punch and stay straight. Okay. If he's throwing a punch, he's throwing it from back here. That's the point where his arm is starting. Okay? If he twists, step forward and twist, look what happened to that point. Now it's so much closer to my face and the line is so much straighter. It's like hitting a 2 by 4 If he had a 2 by 4 and he's hitting here, the 2 by 4 is actually put in a right angle. When he twists his shoulders, now it's like hitting a 2 by 4 and hitting me right at the end of that 2 by 4 but by twisting, it allows me to generate that power and it's giving me my line straight to my target. Straight power, strength, okay? But it's generated by twist. So whether I'm striking or blocking, that twist generates the power. It's only one concept. Because there's twist, there's drop, there's shift, there's breath. All these different strengths that we use. But you have to understand twist first. So one of the best ways to start is getting your, into a full horse Okay? Drop your lower center of your body and just start twisting your hands and let them slap. Slap. In other words, I don't do this and stiff, because the stiffer I am, I don't I stop my body from actually moving. Okay? By letting my hands twist, and then now I start shifting weight when I twist. Twist. You start feeling that power, it can actually start hurting when it's slapped. Your fingers kind of whip. Well, it's the same amount of power. The looser I am, the stronger I am. So when he throws and I twist, boom, look at that, that power that's generated. I'm not even hitting or hitting anything extra. I'm just twisting, okay? By twisting it, that power is so generated, I haven't even put in drop, breath, <laughs> and using away from the center. I'm just twisting, okay? He throws a punch here, I twist, I twist back, I twist, but it's that twist that generates that power. So you have to understand another concept about twist and turning the drum.
my master calls it turning the drum. Uh, when I twist, if I'm real stiff with my arms, when he throws, then I, I'll, I'll come and twist it. If I'm real stiff and I hit, ah, uh, and then I turn, ah, uh, it takes too long for me to do one, two, my neck can already hit, okay? If my arms are loose, and real loose, just like the Chinese drum, he throws that punch, I can be in there now, right with that twist, and the same amount of energy that I use to block, I strike it, okay? So if he throws right here now, I stay loose and I direct it to where I want to go, but I let the twist throw the punch versus my arm throw the punch. When I go do this and I pick up and I throw, <laughs> you lose all your strength and you lose all your snap. When I twist and just let my arms loose from here, it comes from down here, it is so much quicker and so much stronger, okay? So if I throw this punch and I lift and you go to throw, it's really telling him, uh oh, punch is coming. But if I turn and just bring it from right here and I strike and go exactly where I want to go now, from right down here, it doesn't give any indication that I'm lifting ready to hit him. So when I twist, it's now, right now, okay? When I twist, it's right now. And it comes so quick because my body throws the punch. This shoulder does not throw the punch. This one does, okay? So the faster I throw the shoulder back, the faster the shoulder gets into a place where I can throw the punch, okay? So if I turn and I don't throw the shoulder back, I'm really slowing myself down. As soon as I throw that shoulder back and answer the phone to protect, my, protect myself, it just, <laughs> It just flings this whether I want to or not, okay? So the twist is so important whether I'm striking, blocking, and generating that nice quick flow. The twist is very, very important. Just